Hello and welcome back to the Astana Times channel. Here is our special coverage from the Astana Club international discussion platform unfolding these days in the Kazakh capital. The two-day event has brought Kazakh and international experts together to discuss some of the pressing issues facing the region of Central Asia and the world. These include the rise in economic fragmentation, the devastating impact of climate change, the future of Central Asia and Afghanistan, among other topics. Let's hear what some prominent experts have to say about these very important issues. Amidst geopolitical turbulence, some experts see a silver lining in economic opportunities for Kazakhstan. They also say Kazakhstan stands at a unique juncture, stressing the importance of making right economic and investment decisions. There's a lot of turbulence between the United States and China, and what that meant is that China is looking to improve its relationships with countries around the world, including in Central Asia. But for China, countries like Kazakhstan have mainly been a transit country. There is a lot of talk about high-speed rail and infrastructure projects. But for Kazakhstan's own development, it's important to extract more of the value added and have China leave investment in Kazakhstan that creates more jobs and opportunities for people in Kazakhstan. As the global landscape shifts from a focus on economic opportunities and integration to one marked by security concerns and geopolitical tensions, Kazakhstan has the potential to capitalize on this transition. Multinational companies seeking stable environments are eyeing Kazakhstan as a strategic destination for headquarters and operations. Navigating that turbulence is going to be very difficult as well. But I think my central message is, out of the turbulence, if you get your economic and investment choices right, there can be some very considerable opportunities notwithstanding them. A separate panel session focused on climate change, another pressing issue for Central Asia and the world. Nobel Prize winner and scientist Ray Kwon Chan shares insights through which we can understand the imperative for sustainable practices and collaborative regional efforts. Central Asia is now expected to be suffering the most severe climate disaster because the expected temperature rise will be quite high in Central Asia, Middle East and in North Africa. These are the regions the most of the impact of climate change will be the hardest, and including Kazakhstan. So Kazakhstan is also having very serious risk of the danger of climate change. So it, it is something Kazakhstan has to be prepared and ready and should also make a contribution to reduce the climate change uh, impact. Kazakhstan has made significant strides in its efforts to address the impact of climate change. At the COP28 in Dubai, President Kasim Jumar Tokayev announced Kazakhstan will join the Global Methane Pledge, a voluntary agreement by more than 150 countries to cut their methane emissions by 30 percent by 2030. The nation also signed substantial renewable energy deals, giving a push to its ambitious renewable energy targets. Making pledge is easy, but taking action is a different story. Uh, it's not only for Kazakhstan. For many countries, we have been making pledges throughout the last three decades of climate history, and we have been failing, keep on failing, to keep and deliver our promises. So we have to more focus on how we can actually take action.